Hello Libra and welcome to your February 2023 astrology forecast. Now this video is for Sun, Moon or Rising Libra. Your Sun sign is what you're aware of and your Moon sign is more your emotional and private world and your Rising is your external world. So watch all three and feel, you know, when it comes to your Sun, Moon or Rising, it's important to see what resonates with you. For me, personally, it's my Sun sign. <laughs> I always resonate with my sun sign more than the other signs. I can see where the other signs fit in, right? I can see where my moon sign fits in and that's more subjective to me, but it's more in the background, right? That's my emotional self. It's private it's in the background. My rising sign, I can see it in my external world play out, you know, like I'm sitting back and watching it play out. But my sun sign, what motivates me, I definitely feel but that's how I feel about it. When you're watching these, see what resonates with you. You can even comment down below which, you know, which resonates better with you, your sun, your moon, or your rising. But I know that my sun sign <laughs> resonates really, really well with me. And I always am aware of it. And I guess it's like the sun, you know, you know, like, you know, you see the sun, you can be very aware of it. I guess that's why it's such a big thing of feeling this is what I'm aware of. Anyway, that's just me talking about the sun, moon, and rising. February does not have any planets retrograde. Retrogrades will start again towards the end of April, April 21st. So it's go time. It's time to get motivated and go after what you wish to move forward along with. In February on the 5th, we have a full moon in your 11th house. And this is asking you about the people that you connect to your social circles. Who do you want to no longer detach and not want to be associated with any more completion point and also a completion point for people that you feel you do want to connect to. This is a form of maybe that can even bring to fruition your hopes and dreams, right? Anything that you saw for yourself. This full moon is really shedding light on the people around you, social groups, friends, family, work colleagues, the people maybe that you so socialize when you go to the gym, like there's a gym click and maybe you have a group of friends that you go to the library with, maybe there's a group of friends that you, all these different people, they might not be friends, friends, but even acquaintances, but these are the groups that you do these different activities with. And this full moon will be shedding light. You might even notice some drama within these groups, but that drama is asking you, do you want to be a part of it? Do you want to detach from it? Do you want to be drawn into it? Those are the questions that's important to ask yourself. On the 11th, we have Mercury in the fifth house. Ooh. Your mind, what you're thinking, what you're communicating, and what you're expressing has to do with your creativity and creative projects. If you're an entrepreneur, very good energy for that. If you're not an entrepreneur, go after your hobbies. Expand on your creativity, Libra. Go after it, have a ball with it. There's asking you, how can you have fun? You might even take a small trip to have some fun and enjoyment. It's asking you to feed your inner child. It's a great time for communicating. If you have kids or around younger people, you'd be doing that as well. This time is also great for romance, where if you are single, people will be chatting to you, texting you in a romantic way and showing that kind of interest. And if you're in an existing relationship, this is where the flirting can even happen there, reigniting of sparks. On the 18th, the sun will move into the 6th house. New moon on the 20th in the 6th house is about your work, your health, and your routine. Get organized <laughs> is the name of the game, right? So see your to-do list, what you need to do. How can you better take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, and physically in order to accomplish what you need to accomplish? Any changes that you want to make to work, this would be a great time to do it, especially with the new moon, two days before and two days after and on the new moon, where these opportunities can come through to you or within the cycle of the next full moon. So basically use this energy. So two days before and two days after is when the new moon is really good and on the day of the new moon to focus on your intentions. What intentions do you want to set? Bam. And manifest. But the energy for the next two weeks will have you thinking a lot before the next full moon, which will be later in March. You'll be focusing a lot on, okay, what do I want to bring in? This is where I can get word about opportunities when it comes to work. How can I better take care of my health so that I'm able to go after these opportunities, mentally, emotionally, and physically? What am I telling myself? Do I believe in myself? Can I go after my dreams? Those are all the energies. Am I sleeping well? Do I feel tired during the day? Do I, am I lacking energy? 
How can I go after what do I want? Those are the things. So take care of yourself. It's a good time for that. On the 20th, we have Venus in the seventh house. For the next couple of weeks, you'll be focusing on one-on-one -on -one relationships. So Venus can make other people feel more drawn to you. So if you are in the business where you're working with other people, people might want to, because Venus rules both love and finances, people might want to, you know, purchase more from you. And also Venus here is great for love. If you are single, great for meeting new people, existing relationship, this is where you and another person, your partner can do things together. Really good for partnerships, partnering up, working towards things. Really good for communication. Venus is about love too. So in a loving, harmonious and bringing balance to your relationships. Right? So it's a beautiful February. Wishing you a blessed February. Comment down below how February is going for you. What you're looking forward to. I'd love to hear. And if you'd like a reading, my link will be down below. As well as a link for appreciation of these videos. Thank you so much. Have a blessed February.